So this show opens with Mike Tanay welcoming us to the eve of Independence Day as we pyro and ballyhoo. Uh, this time they actually keep the house audio closed until the show opens, so there's no one like counting down or saying not yet. They're getting better. They're they are. Better no, they, they actually team. are getting better. Yes. I, this might be everyone's first time. This production team because it really seems like it. Mike Tanay continues that the first two title defenses will happen tonight, which are Ken Shamrock versus Malice for the NWA World Heavyweight title and AJ Styles versus David Young for the X Division title. Also, we have a tag team title tournament. Also, a tag team main event of Jarrett and Crush versus Hall and Christopher. Now, what you failed to mention is that Don West is announcing this from on top of a soapbox because all three of them are standing there, and I don't believe today is that tall. <laughs> Especially if you look at like the shape of him, it definitely seems like from where his shoulders, and where his hips are positioned, that there's no way his legs are that long. He's yeah. definitely standing on an apple box <laughs> for some strange reason. I mean, we just got to not talk about what Ed Ferrara was wearing. You know, I figured we would get to that in... <laughs> Okay. Oh, there's thoughts there. Okay, that's my mistake. Yeah, there's I'm there's some more. There's it. some more. Yeah, you're jumping the gun a little bit. Yeah, after he mentions the the tag team matches, they they split them up and say, "All right, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts?" Don's like, "Yeah, I'm really excited to see Jarrett and Crush get beat, and we'll have this." And and then Ed is like, "No, no, no. This is about Jarrett and Crush getting revenge, getting vengeance." And then Tanay introduces the NWA president Jim Miller. Why, Mr. Jim Miller and. He says he was touring Japan, and that's why he wasn't here last week. And he found a surprise. He presents a trophy to the TNA to welcome them to the NWA. And the surprise he has is a match set for a big, big Japanese guy, Amori, against the NWA champion next week, whomever that is. Segment length, 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Your thoughts? Did you feel a little uneasy when he was like, oh, I ran into a big Japanese guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, just, just say his name. What do you yeah. He made it like that was a defining thing about him. So I was like, oh, is he talking about Anoki? Because he's pretty tall. Right. Yeah, I was more concerned about how he was like, oh, I wasn't here last week because I was doing a, oh, was well, let's eight, eight day. It was an eight day tour. I'm like, are you forming an alibi in your head in front of us? Like, did you really have any business being in Japan? Because I don't know about you, but when when Jim Miller comes on screen, I instantly get flashbacks to It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Frank, when he did the kids' beauty pageant, yeah, because he had that like makeup on his face, but it was like just <laughs> the outline of his face, just like, the outline of his face, and it's completely. White, pale, like fat coming right. out. Yeah, exactly. He was super, <laughs> super you suspicious. I was waiting for him to be like, "Well, we don't little kid, we don't do that here in the TNA." Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like. like he had, it's like he had a big pot of honey, and he was just like sticking his head in there and licking it out. And that's why he just has it just covering that part of his face. <laughs> It's the only part of his head that could like really get into the pot of honey. Okay, yeah. That's where my head was. He looks like Winnie the Pooh. I guess, yeah. I was concerned, man, because he was just he had that Frank's beauty pageant thing going. And he was like, I was in Japan for legal reasons, total legal reasons. And I'm just like, yeah. like it's... the whole time I'm like, who are you? I don't know who you are, Jim Miller. Yeah. I was I was more concerned about last week when we were like, quick, uh young Chris Harris and James Storm, take your shirts and get out there. And I'm like, is this why? Is this the guy who makes that happen? No, no shirts. I don't want anybody with shirts. Oh. But if but anyone asks, I was in Japan. I was in Japan, if anybody asks. <laughs> <laughs> eight, eight, how many days? Six, seven, eight, eight days, eight days I was in Japan. Also, then, I'm sorry. Yeah, a, we get to, uh, a welcoming trophy? Yeah, that was weird, right? What is a welcoming trophy? I don't know. I don't know how you welcome someone with a trophy. <laughs> I did, well, he did it. He certainly did. Although at first I thought he was giving it to today. And today was like, oh, thank you. Yes, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. what, what did he do? Yeah, because it, it didn't seem that prestigious either way. Yeah. It just seemed like like he gave him, he was like, I want to present you with this trophy. And today was like, okay, well, what's the surprise? And I was like, wow, today? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't care about this thing. Thanks. You know, that's like one of those shitty things where like someone's like, I got you a present and here's a doll. And, he, and you're like, cool. Thanks for this doll. Where's my present? <laughs> 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 like, <what? laughs> 
Is this the card? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I get it. This is the piñata that I smash open for my present. <laughs> this this porcelain doll. Oh, once, this once, uh, and then, yeah. I think we could talk about it now, which is how, I guess, Don West and Ed Ferrara, like, switch clothing? <laughs> <laughs> that what, what is Don West? He has, like, a completely bright red black pinstripes with, like, a tap dancer's bright red bow tie. It's like a sparkly bow tie. Like, it almost looks like he stole Father James Mitchell's clothes. In a way. <laughs> yeah. Because he is definitely dressed like Hell's Carnival Barker. It doesn't quite fit him. It's a little too big. No. <laughs> and then, maybe not, like, size-wise, but Ed Ferrara looks like he's wearing Don West's clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Like, because he looks like like a guy who just got back from Margaritaville. He's got like the yeah, the white pants, the nice button down orange like Florida button down. That what he's only using like a few of the buttons. He needs to use a few more. And I feel like it had like like a woven shawl he was wearing or something. Or it was like the same material of like the episode, the first episode, that purple fuzzy shirt. I think that's like a gimmick he's going with. I think he wants that like fuzzy oh, material. Was it? Oh, I thought it was like some weird like cargo netting type thing or Oh, was that it? I don't know. It looked like very like like satchel type. I don't know. And Tanay was wearing the same suit he's been wearing, and I presume he will continue to wear it until the day he dies. I already told you. He goes home at night and he takes off his head to recharge. <laughs> <laughs> that's just his body. All right, so segment one. James Storm and Wildcat Chris Harris 